Hey, what's up, YouTube? HBIC or Vexicus4666. Give me a fifth place deck profile from the St. Louis Regional. And this duel is named Aaron has gotten that with DDDs. And the original deck profile for this goes to Asian Persuasion 2008. Johnny, go check out his channel. So let's look at the DDDs. I personally will not play DDDs until January when we get the structure deck. I have all my DDDs literally sitting in a deck box waiting to be played until we get the new support for them because DDDs will be coming up soon so let's take a look at this deck you have three Ragnaroks three Thomas one of the dark kaiju he said this was in there just to help plus it's like a lower target but he really didn't use it but it's just there just to be there if necessary then you have two Leonidas two Vanity Sphine I know he said he was going to up this to the three I need to give me three Alti Stage Trooper give me a third rare then you have three Swirl Slime, three Necro Slime, Glow Up Bulb, three Kepler, and that's it for the monsters. Spells, you have Double Allure, one for one, Raigeki, double trade-in, Upstart Goblin. Now for trade-in, he said that people were trying to get him to play like triple Allures and three triple trade-in, but he said it wasn't really necessary because a lot of times he didn't want to pitch a card in his hand or he did not want to banish a card from his hand. You have Upstart Goblin, Foolish Burial, the one and only Twin Twister, the other one is in the side deck. Then you have three Dark Contract with the Gate, this is like your Stratos or your Rota of the deck. Then you have your Contract, Dark Contract with the Swamp King, Bottomless Trap Hole, Eradicator Virus, Starlight Road, didn't see it as much, but with everybody playing Twin Twister, this is not a bad card not to have. Vanity's Emptiness. And then you have Dark Contract with the Witch. I like this card because it powers up Fiend Monsters and it can power up your Vanity's Fiend to a normal size of 3400. And then you have a Solemn Warning. Notice this deck is completely budget. The main deck. It's like, actually the whole deck is budget. See, you can run budget decks. Who said a budget deck can't top? Now that I'm looking at it, I just noticed the deck's not playing any Desires. You know, I still need to get Dimensional Barriers, but I have Desires, so that's good. But anyway, we have for the extra deck, DDD, Wave, Oblivious King, Caesar, Ragnarok, two Oracle Kings, three Blaze King, Flame Genghis, Trishula, Stardust Dragon. Now, he wanted to play the Dante Fusion, but couldn't get it in time. Formula Synchron. DDD, Dual King, Felgrain, because he said he'd rather negate monster effects than spells. That's why he wasn't playing number 38. Number 15, Gimmick Puppet Giant Killer. Didn't really make it, but it was there if he needed it. Number 11, Big Eye, same thing there if he needed it. And then Beatrice, because you know, after making two Flame Kings, you can drop a Beatrice and then do some plays. You heard me? Now, the side deck was only 14 cards, but uh, y'all can put whatever you want in there. Uh, he played another of the Dark Kaiju, one Allied Justice Quarantine, two Flying Seas, two Ghost Ogres, two Max Seas, two System Downs, three Book of Eclipse, because he said, you know he said something about Burning Abyss and stuff, I don't know if he said, uh, he said Burning Abyss and I think he said ABCs, but I don't remember. And then on second twin twister. And this is Aaron's deck. Go check out the original deck profile on the lovely Asian Persuasion 2008 channel. I'm Bexicus4666 signing out, and I'll see you guys next video. Catch me if you can.